hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to create like a little modern bathroom on homestyle.com and your first step is going to be to create a room of course once you have it you want to go into orbit view you don't have to but i like to work in orbit view and today instead of using color or like wallpaper or anything i'm going to use towel on the walls and i'm going to use towel on the floor as well so i'm just picking which ones I want to use right now. I tried like different ones to see if I like them. Um, just trial and error basically. And I ended up using what I originally picked. Now I am going to get a door. And just so there's like an entry point to the room, I'm not attaching any room to it, but I wanted it to be realistic. So now I'm going in to find my lights and I'm using ceiling lights today. Um, I don't necessarily like these lights, but there's so many to go through and I thought that they went well with it, but they are not my favorite, but they definitely did its job. So these are the ones that I'm going with. And right now I'm just like adjusting how high they are and you can either use those blue arrows or you can use this kind of column that we have to the right or row column or row I have no idea um, we're gonna use the thing that we have to the right and it's going to allow you to like insert numbers under lift and that way you can have them exactly the same and not just like eye it so then I went into the bathroom section and I got a shower door and now I'm just lining that up where I want it to go. Really, really simple. You can like change the size to everything, almost everything on this website. So then I went into accessories in the bathroom section and got like a shower head um, and just put it up where I wanted to place it. Now under vanities, I am going to pick which one I like and you could just like get your own sink and do your mirror and everything but I actually like the vanities that they have and I really thought that this one would go good with the room so I just went ahead and used this So now what you see me doing is basically adjusting the lighting because once I put the vanity in, I realized that if someone was standing under the light or standing at the sink, the light would literally be hitting them. So I made it shorter and I think I moved them around a little bit, but yeah, I just adjusted it based on what I added to the room. So now I'm going into the section in the bathroom that um, is toilets and I'm picking whichever one I want and I went with this one just because it looks like modern I guess you like push the button into flush it and stuff so that's the one that I picked then after um, I line it up and I place it where I want I'm gonna go into accessories in the bathroom and just add little things like towels or um, a thing for the toilet paper I call it a thing because I I don't know what it's called a roller or something um, and then like little things on the sink um, trash can just little things <laughs>
So basically on home styler, you want to make sure any room that you make either has lights, windows, or both. Um, because when you render it to create the tour, for everything to be seen, you need actual lights, you need a window, and you need to pick a view when you render it that has the sun or lights or something. You need to be able to see your things. So I thought, why not add a skylight? Um, it was my first time doing it. I didn't know how it would come out, but I wanted to try it and I didn't want to put an actual room or actual light. So I went to render and now I'm gonna go into panorama view and I'm gonna take my pictures, um, just two from the different views. And with this one, I didn't really customize it at all, except for the camera height. So I changed that, I changed the angle, um, and then I just let the environment be like the grass because you wouldn't be able to see from the sky. Um, and in order to render, you save the design and then you're good to go. So now my pictures are rendering and when they're done I'm going to click view details so that I am able to see them before I create the actual tour. And as you can see it's pretty dark in the shower area. Um, I didn't expect that. I thought that the skylight would do something for me but it's, it's way too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the floor plan or how I was working and I'm just going to take that skylight out. Now I'm going into windows because I figured it doesn't make sense to add an actual light so maybe I should just try and add like a window. I thought that this all black window would show up all black however it showed like a little brown like perimeter to it so I couldn't use it. I thought that it would look nice matching the shower door or the shower wall. But I couldn't use it because the brown just is nowhere brown in the bathroom. So I ended up just having to use this circle um, window, which it wasn't like an issue. The rim of it is white or it matches enough with the wall so that you can't see the actual color of it. So it worked out and I just adjusted the size and moved it up because I didn't want anyone to be able to see in or out of it. I just wanted it to be there for light purposes and now I'm kind of just testing to make sure that none of these windows work the way that I want them to before I go ahead and use this round one. And so yeah, as you can see, none of these windows gave me what I wanted, so I just went ahead and rendered it, um, used panorama again, took pictures from both um, sides of the bathroom, and this time I think that I went with warm white and I used the HD quality because I was 100% sure it was going to work this time. So now they're rendering and loading, and they're done. Um, so I'm just going to view the detail. Or did I view it? What's happening? Oh. Okay, so now we're viewing it. And it didn't get as bright as I wanted it to be, but it's definitely brighter. And I'm fine with it. I'm satisfied with it. Um, I actually like how this came out. I didn't expect for me to like that window at all but I do now I'm creating my tour um, generating it and yeah now we have it the full and final product looking at this toilet now I probably should have raised it it's so small and it's so low but um, I think it's fine it's, it's okay but yeah I thank you guys for watching and I hope that you enjoyed. Um, 
and yeah stay tuned for more videos like this soon mm -hmm.